we should move that bus. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. When they said move the bus, oh my God. Hey, bus driver! Move that bus! Hi, ABC. We're the Harper family. I'm Milton. I'm the dad. I'm Patricia. I'm the mom. I'm Darius, and I'm 17 years old. I'm LaVon, and I'm 15 years old. And I'm Mr. I'm 8 years old. Now, Patricia and Milton Harper were high school sweethearts. Eventually, they got married and started a family. They moved into the best place they could afford. Unfortunately, that place was in a housing project in Brooklyn, New York. Not the safest place to raise your kids. So there's a lot of madness there. People die, and we always wanted better. When Patricia Milton's son, Ramel, was two, he chose while eating dinner. They called 911 right away, but paramedics won't go into the projects without a police escort. So by the time they got one, Ramel was in a coma. He died eight days later. Now the Harpers were determined to do whatever they could to raise their three boys someplace safer. They saved as much as they could, as fast as they could, and bought a little house in Lake City, Georgia, just outside Atlanta. And they thought this house was the house of their dreams until the first time it rained. Our home, when it rains, it floods and it tends to back up with waste. You see, their house isn't hooked up to city sewers. It has its own septic system, a really bad one. But right now, we're in the basement. Over here, septic tank had got filled up and it just started pouring out into our home. Ah. It's not just gross, it's dangerous. Sewage was over our shoes down here. And with the rainy season this year, the house has been pretty much unlivable. Clothes, furniture, almost everything they have has been totally destroyed. It's been real hard owning a home that fights back. They can't afford to do what really needs to be done. The whole thing has to be dug up and replaced, and that includes the basement. Thank you, ABC, for considering the Harper family for this makeover. Bye, ABC! Guys, this is a family with no options left. The Harpers just wanted a nice, safe place to raise their kids. What do you say? Can we do it? We can do it. Yo, Ty. Let's do it! Oh. Okay, guys, what does an appendix do anyway? Ty, we're in front of the house. Good morning, Harper family. Hey, Patricia, Milton, Darius, Ravon, and Mr. Wake up and come on out here. Listen, as you might have noticed, Ty's not here, but he actually is right here on this phone. He's got something he'd like to say to you, okay? Hey, Milton, it's Ty, man. Hey, Ty, how you doing? Hey, listen, I'm sorry I can't be there right now. I'm in the hospital. A little trouble with my appendix. But I'm gonna be fine. I mean, he's sorry he couldn't be here. We just hope you get better, Ty. That's more important right about now. So listen, we're gonna work on your house while you guys go on vacation for a week. Now, how does Disneyland California sound to you guys? <laughs> go to Disneyland! <laughs> it sounds like you're pretty excited. Do me a favor. Show the designers around, okay? Let them know what's up. I'll see you guys in a week. And I promise you, it's all gonna be a lot better than the way you're living right now. Oh, it sounds great, Ty. It sounds great. God bless you. All right, guys, congratulations. All right, Harper family, it's time to get in this limo and head to Los Angeles because you're going to Disneyland. Oh, wow. Yeah. High fashion. Let's go, Harpers. Let's get in that car. Oh, Let's go, Mr. Oh, 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 Don't get going in there. <laughs> These are homes of the sixth largest home builder in the nation. I'm expecting some voice to kind of go, okay, we're here, we're gonna tear this house down. Instead, I hear. Hey, I'm Ian McCarthy from Beezer Homes. Oh, Ty called, he said you may need a hand. And I'm like, 
Oh my God, a fellow limey. I do believe I hear the dulcet tones of a fellow limey. Shoot him, mate, that's sad. Uh... That's all right. Tank problem here, and if we could start with that, that would be great. Oh, yeah. Let's make that job number one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Harper, this is the last time you're ever going to see your house. Look at the size of those guys. That one there. Look at the claw on this. Look at this. Here it comes. Oh. and uh, very cold night, you know? You see it here. You can really see the size of this house that we're building here, about 5,300 square feet. Ed! Yo, yo, yo! There we go, there we go. I'm trying to get my bearings here because this footprint is just so large. We're currently standing in part of the huge living room and some of the kitchen. The two youngest, Lavorne and uh, Mister, they're sharing beneath this room here. They've got a shared bathroom, but they've got their own huge walk-in closets. This, my friend, I'll tell you something, Patricia and uh, Milton, they ain't gonna know what's hit them. Over right. a thousand square feet of bedroom. This is the biggest house we've ever built. It's like a castle. 5,300, sorry, 5,307 square feet. Sits on right, top. you want to get you want to get up in here, right? I'm working over with these uh, hardwood guys, and I hear this ambulance coming down the street. I'm back! Let's do this, people! We got 48 hours. We got a house to finish. We're back! How you doing, Polly? I'm back, baby. I'm back. Doors open, Ty pops out. I'm back, everyone. I'm back. How's it going? Michael, how are you? It's good to be back. How are you doing, people? So the house looks amazing. Guys, don't stop working. Whatever you do, keep going. I ended up surprising everybody and showing up over there. Came blaring out with megaphone in hand. It felt so good to get that megaphone, you know, that megaphone back in my hand. You know what I mean? It's just like a it's like a glove to me. Oh my god. There was a lot of people out there. Oh, Ty, how are you? Oh, my God, I Ty was there. We were surprised to see him because we knew he was in the hospital. So, you know, that was a blessing in itself. We're glad to see you all right, Ty. Well, no, yeah, it's been kind of crazy. Believe it or not, we actually got your house built oh. without my appendix. Oh. <laughs> I cannot wait to show you your new house and hopefully yes. a whole new life for you guys. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ty. Well, then I think we should move that box. What do you think? Yeah. 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 When they said move the bus, oh my God. Hey, bus driver! Move the bus! So happy that I got to see my family so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. And here is your design team. Oh, oh my God. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. I still can't believe that y'all actually built a house like that. I can't either, man. I tell you what, guys, it's definitely a huge, beautiful house. But what you won't see again ever is any more sewage problems. Oh, my God, Ty. In fact, you don't even have a septic line. We've tied you guys in to the county sewer system. Oh, man, Ty. I'm just real happy because now my family will have to deal with their best smell. I know you guys have spent years chasing the American dream. I think you guys finally got it. Yes, Go on inside and check out your new house. Oh, I think you're gonna like it. You.